Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, Decree to Rebuild Jerusalem, Nisan 1. So scripture reference is out of Daniel 9, verse 25. Uh, know therefore and understand that from the going out of the word to restore and build Jerusalem to the coming of an anointed one, a prince, there shall be seven weeks, then for 62 weeks it shall be built again with squares and moat, but in a troubled time. So the angel Gabriel continues with his revelation from God to the prophet Daniel. And this is, the clock has started. So, you know, the cliff notes of that verse from the decree of Artaxerxes, there will be 483 years till the coming of the Messiah. So the clock starts. Um, Nehemiah 2, verse 1, part A, in the month of Nisan, in the 20th year of King Artaxerxes, when wine was before him, I took up the wine and gave it to the king. And again, this is the date of the decree to rebuild Jerusalem. God's clock starts on this date. And Nehemiah is performing his duty as a cupbearer, and Artaxerxes is drinking his wine. So... There's a little bit of wisdom there, I suppose, <laughs> from Nehemiah's standpoint. Let's get the king all liquored up and then talk to him about this. Although, you know, you go on to read, he was sad. Nehemiah was sad, and Artaxerxes had the wherewithal to, to perceive that. But uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about the, you know, the setting of it in this particular post. But it is obvious, you know, as a as a cupbearer, he would know when a good time would be after so many glasses, it might be appropriate to approach the king on a topic. Just saying. Um, but let's get back to the post in the month of Nisan. Now, dating the first part of this timestamp appears to be the easy part. Nisan is the first month on a Hebrew calendar. Nisan means their flight. And Nehemiah. 2 verse 1 is the first time the month is called Nisan in the Bible. The month of Nisan is the beginning of the religious or spiritual year on a Hebrew calendar. And the month of Nisan is synonymous with the constellation of the Lamb in the Hebrew Matzeroth. So, and we'll work backwards from there. Exodus 13 verse 4. On this day in the month of Abib, you are about to go forth. Now, Moses referred to this month as Abib, and per Strong's concordance, Abib means fresh, young barley ears, month of ear forming, of green, of greening of crop, of growing green, month of Exodus and Passover. So you can kind of see where all this is going. It's, it's, it's in the spring. It's around the Exodus. It's around Passover. This is when Nehemiah approached Artaxerxes. And then we'll back up another chapter in Exodus, Exodus 12 verses 1 and 2. Now the Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, this month shall be the beginning of months for you. It is to be the first month of the year to you. And this is when God proclaims his new year. It's not in January. It's in Abib. It's in the sun. It's in the springtime when life emerges from winter. It's when crops begin to green. That's the idea. It's the rebirth, the renewing of life. That's when God says the new year is. So, you know, effectively spring. I've got posts on that. If you want to get into that a little, a little further, you, you can look at it. But it's not the point, you know, again, getting back to the discussion. Um, you know, Nisan is the, is the month which Nehemiah approached Artaxerxes. And many commentators and scholars imply the date as the first of the month. Now, assuming the first of the month, Jews would have identified a new moon to signify the beginning of a new month. And so by definition, a new moon is proclaimed when the first little sliver emerges from a darkened moon. It's the tiny crescent that's noted briefly at sunset on the western horizon. The month begins at the sighting of the new moon. And Jews have utilized this procedure every month for thousands of years. And it's called Rosh Kadesh, which means head of the month. So we got a date. Uh, we know Nisan 1 
And with the math, uh, Johannes Kepler and his laws of planetary motion and physics were able to calculate the movement movement of heavenly bodies. And Kepler's math allows us to map the exact location of the sun, moon, planets, and stars in time and space. And the heavens are a finely tuned clock, which can be run forward and backward. And as a result, the dates can be confirmed. So calculations start from Nissan 1. <clears throat> and the ultimate question is going to be, well, what year is it? And we're going to take a look at that the next time. And and that's that's the beauty, you know. Here we are in the 21st century, and you don't need software. It's a lot easier with software. But you can wind the universe, or I'm sorry, wind the solar system forward and backwards. And, and we know what things are going to look like at certain times in the future. And we know what things look like in the sky in the past. Um, we know it. We can, we can look at the sun, moon, and when these things happen, and we got a pretty good idea. And we're going to find out God's clock's pretty accurate. God says his Messiah is going to show up 483 years. You can bet it's going to happen to the day, and it does. A little heads up. So at any rate, appreciate you guys following along. Uh, this is going to be categorized under Paul the Pope. This is still under angels with uh, Gabriel's message to Daniel. We're now to Daniel 9, verse 25. we got a couple more to go with Daniel. Um, and we're going to cover... We're going to cover oh, several more posts on Daniel 9.25. Some interesting things to look at there. Um, follow us along. Social media. <laughs> Twitter and Facebook. YouTube. Little little sense, sense, uh, censoring taking place there. Can go to Parlor, And uh, a lot more. It's, just, it's, it's, it's unbelievable to look at that. It's two completely different bodies of information, news, etc., uh, a new feature here on the uh, on the post or on the on the blog. Uh, I downloaded this from Revolver Maps. Apparently, my old thing wasn't keeping track, and the software was old. So now I got a spinning globe, and you can see who's actually online looking at the website. So we got somebody from uh, Manila, the Philippines, checking in the national capital region so somebody near the capital i guess i don't know got a couple of folks looking at this in the united states <clears throat> anyway kind of fun also and now there it is there's the gray box it really does exist i know i've talked about this a lot in the past type in your email address hit the subscribe button and um get notification every time we send something out um wordpress does not sell these addresses i don't sell these addresses I don't know that I even have access to them. I probably do somewhere in there. It tells you how much I'm paying attention to it. But be a way to get notification every time we put something out. I do think the news flow is going to pick up. Once we figure out for sure who's going to uh, man the presidency, and stuff's tied up in the courts. So we'll wait and see how all that goes down. At any rate, appreciate you all following along. Uh, if you enjoy it, please feel free to share with others. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.